Good morning to you all and happy Pentecost. Thank you to Andy for inviting me to share something with you this morning. While Hayden and I are out here in Greece, we're stuck here having maybe the luckiest lockdown on the planet. I have gone through all of my books and I'm now reading some of Hayden's and I'm currently working my way through this, which is called Into the Silent Land by Martin Laird. And it's a book about contemplative prayer. And he begins with a story that I found really arresting, which I'm going to tell to you now. Martin often goes for long walks to clear his mind. Whenever he goes to a certain place, he sees the same man walking with his four dogs. They are Kerry Blue Terriers, a breed I was not familiar with. His dogs go wild, running around, chasing each other, enjoying the freedom of the wide open space. They clearly enjoy every moment that they are there. When I say the dogs, I mean three of them. The fourth dog stays very close to his master and only runs in small circles, round and round, back and forth, never exploring, never going too far away, never getting the most of this beautiful place. One day Martin asked the man why this one dog did not run out with the other three. The man explained, this fourth dog grew up in a cage, running in circles is all he knows. For him, going for a run means exactly what he is doing now. Martin goes on to say that our minds can be like this. We have all of creation to explore with our minds. But all too often we limit ourselves and we get stuck with the same repetitive chain of thoughts which goes round and round in our minds. I don't know what healing there might be for the fourth dog, but for us there is an incredible intervention which is called Pentecost. The Holy Spirit can change us, heart, soul and mind. She can free us from the prisons of our limited thought patterns, enabling us to branch out, to explore and see beyond our usual blinkers. Think of those first followers of Jesus. Think of them living in hiding for 40 days after the day when Jesus was raised from the dead. They lived in so much fear that they could not find it in themselves to do anything about the incredible story they had witnessed. They just sat on it. They knew that death had lost its sting. They knew that there was one who had conquered all the barriers we had ever put up between ourselves and God. They knew that this Jesus is alive. And yet in their cage of fear, they just sat on this news and did nothing more than talk around and around in the same small circles. But on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came and shook them up, fired them up and filled them up with God. They stopped speaking only to each other. They found a new courage within themselves. They were set free to serve. They were set free to take one step further to becoming their true selves. They found far bigger circles. They even found on that day they could speak in languages they had never learnt. Peter got up and preached to over a thousand, and yes, some mocked him, but many more believed. And then they spread even further out, exploring, chasing opportunities, and enjoying the freedom that is God's service. Now it seems a bit tactless for me to be talking about freedom and wide open spaces in these days of lockdown. But my point is, physical freedom is secondary to that release from the repetitive treadmill of a restrictive thought pattern. This is what St Paul struggled with. I love this thing he wrote in Romans. It's one of the most personal and vulnerable things that he ever said. He wrote, I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. 
For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I do. Wretched man that I am, who will rescue me from this body of death? It sounds as if he's caught in a cage. Maybe he needs to revisit Pentecost. Maybe we do too. Maybe we need to ask the Holy Spirit to come again to us and do her work again within us, to shake us up, if that's what we need, to fire us up, to fill us, not with new resolve or new ideas, but with God, God's self. And God living in us will lead us to run in far wider circles. Amen.